I suspect if we were sitting here talking at the time when you, you finished The Berlin Girl, uh, you'd be saying to me, I really would have loved to have lived in this particular historical period within that kind of court, um, as an observer, not as a participant, because you might have lasted very long. But I wonder whether in beginning to move backwards, you've now fallen into love with the Plantagenet court, with that kind of late medieval period. I'm in love with the Plantagenets, I absolutely admit. I think they're the most extraordinary, exciting, dramatic, dangerous, high risk taking, truly thrilling royal family. But I would, you would have to be crazy if you're a woman to ever go back in time, any time, before uh, women's legal power, getting the vote, women's financial power, getting the right to own property, and most important for women, reliable contraception. If you don't have those things as a woman, you're dead. As, almost as you reach puberty and there's no way of buying your way or negotiating your way out of it. All of the women I write about, all of the women who are successful, have fantastic health. They survive these terrible dangers that women face and they're often incredibly unscrupulous or incredibly successful or fantastic business women that they manage to put together their fortune. Otherwise you are just absolutely at the behest of the man who owns you which will either be your father or your husband. That's certainly true of Elizabeth Woodville. I mean if you think how many confinements she has, how many children she has and you think how inevitably in order to secure her position what she creates is a dynasty. That's the only way you survive. She has a baby pretty well every year from the start of her marriage, and she had two before she went into marriage. She, by the time she's finished, she's had about 14 children, you know, with no anaesthetic, with no theory about infection, with no protection from infection. She's, she must be, I mean, talk about a survivor. You know, she actually goes straight towards death 14 times pretty well every year. It's an extraordinary woman. Mm -hmm.